Hey everybody, welcome to a special episode of the Board Uplander show. I, uh, I'm doing this in 360, want to have fun. Uh, I like thinking and walking. I know a lot of us are out there that do the same thing. Um, so in this uh, episode, I'm gonna try to get through a bunch of thoughts uh, about Upland. Um, primarily uh, some of the new functions, new partnerships, um, and actually some uh, great uh, new workings uh, within Buck that uh, y'all should be uh, pretty excited about. So, to start off, let's uh, address the elephant in the room, right? Um, the UIP1, I believe, or excuse me, UPI1, UPI1. That's the uh, upland proposal for changing uh, mechanism, a pretty important one, of the tokenomics of upland. Now, I put it out there earlier today that I am going to vote in favor of ratifying the new um, process. Uh, and let me tell you why. Uh, and I, I wanted to use this moment for that. I didn't get into too many specifics uh, during uh, my small announcement, but so in a nutshell, I believe that the move towards decentralization um, is important. This one it specifically allows us to start breaking away from Upland as a central bank and more like a reserve. So this way our own activity, our own ability to generate um, value in Upland through the um, mechanisms of property flipping, asset flipping, anything that pays these taxes, it will be uh, crucial to be able to get um, one's understanding of how uh, by separating the ability to get this new Upix into the game um, and having it being funded by the community uh, pool uh, pushes toward us towards that, right? Um, Mossy Jake, shout out, Spark Exchange, House of Spark, all those cats that started these third party um, functions you know utilities for the game um, have shown us that you can generate constant traffic flipping properties paying into the community pool by using them as burner assets right to be able to make payments on these things um, uh, that, that being said that's just one concept one uplander generated concept that allows you to go ahead and put this um, into practice, being able to constantly fulfill the community tank, the community up its pool. And that, again, like I said earlier to begin with, separates or at least begins to separate us from centralized control of the, of the tokenomics to decentralize us. Us. We control how much is in there. Now, the reserve steps in if our economic activity does not consist consistently replenish that pool, right? So the reserve comes in. A central bank sets the rates for everything, right? The reserve, now, I don't know if you guys uh, noticed this or not, but when they talked about how much would be taken out of the pool, again, that's a decentralized concept. So this whole process of voting for how much needs to go into the uh, second pool, the one that gets sold to uh, people of Upix, you know, the, the Upix pool. Well, that allows us to then sit at the table, negotiate that percentage based on, you know, and, and this is what Upland should be in the, in the business of, providing the data that gives us the ability to make these uh, important decisions. So, in my opinion, voting for this is good. It's scary, because then it makes us per personally responsible as Uplanders 
for the health of our own economy. Decentralized though, okay? If you really want to be in a decentralized space, we all have to take in consideration that we have to take responsibility for our own economic activity. It's hard to, it's hard to understand now because we're really, really, really early adopters. In five years, if we do go this route, if the yes vote is accepted by the community, then at that point, you will have seen that by new players, us recruiting new players, whether, you know, you and the, uh, sitting on the couch, um, you know, having uh, uh, come home after a long day and just wanna relax and play a little upland, we're not putting any responsibility on anybody that does not want to be a part of the economic system in the sense that uh, we're bringing in uh, new players, new uh, businesses, new partnerships, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, with the uh, advent of the block ex of the decor, um, of the decor uh, uh, shops and, ma and manufacturers, eventually, hopefully, coming ornaments and block explorers. Well, all of that is um, going to be the added uh, integers to the economy, right? We're diversifying, we're not being monolithic about what's being sold, what kind of assets are being traded. So the constant back and forth, the kind of transactionary uh, volume that we need will occur because we'll all be either trading, flipping, purchasing different kinds of assets. Assets that weren't around a year ago, um, or if they were, they didn't have the marketplace that it does today. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, um, my, my vote in a nutshell. Um, this is not financial advice. This is not um, in any form a way to pressure the community, use my platform to influence anybody. I'm giving you my reasoning for my vote. Um, and if you want to take that into 